it is sunday the 27th of june and it's breakfast time i'm not very hungry this morning so i've decided to make a hot chocolate this hot chocolate is um 161 calories altogether i will pop on screen the breakdown of it but it's a instant um cadbury's hot chocolate that comes in that cup i have then put some of the anchor light cream on top and then some unicorn marshmallows so that's all i'm gonna have so far today and i will catch you on the next clip guys this is my lunch today it's a chili chicken sandwich packet of crisps and a kipling's um trifle bakewell i'll stick on screen uh the calorie breakdown of that so that is my lunch this was an unexpected trip. Nice little adventure. We're going to bingo again. Going to bingo. Well, when I went last night and won, they did say that tonight they've got a thousand pound houses and they had made a printing error on a flyer. So there's more thousand pound houses than should have been and they're honouring them. So no, Mrs. Michelle, are you free by chance? And she was like, uh, I'm really hungover. Oh, I might, but you know, I'm a bit intoxicated. A little bit inebriated. She's been away on a secret mission this weekend. So, my weekend ended up in a place called Lampeter in West Wales, which is a university town. Um, and we tried most of the pubs in this university town on the weekend. Um, but yeah, it was really lovely. Lovely, lovely place in the middle of nowhere um, and it was my friend's 50th birthday and no calories were counted no calories were counted in the event of the weekend well, I've been back on it today though I've counted everything today even whilst hungover and I had a big breakfast this morning and even still I'm, I've counted that as well I'm not sure how many, how many calories in one of these anyway well, we've just gone and got Subway salads and I've actually got one even though I don't like the cardboard box. Yeah, I Michelle went for a for me and had had one and it looked so nice. I was like, oh, I'm going to just have it. I've got, just just have it. I've got chicken teriyaki, double meat with sweet onion sauce and extra gherkins. And I got the same. Yeah. There is something magical about mm. Subway gherkins to be fair. Is, whether yeah. they've got sugar in them or something, I don't know, they taste really nice, yeah. they? So yeah, we're going to win tonight. We'll have a go, are Just, It's just, like, I quite like it, don't it, anyway, because it's, it's funny to people watch anyway, even if you don't win. People watch? Yeah. I do like a good people watch. Yeah. I wonder if, I wonder if your friend's going to be down there from, from Thursday. You're eating fetish, fetish man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the man that was staring at me. Yeah. I'll stick my fork in his eye mm. from some point. Right. We'll catch up with you later. So this is my Subway salad. Teriyaki chicken double meat with onion, sweet onion sauce. <laughs> Bingo. We are. Lovely. And as you would have just seen, we won again. Whoop, 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 whoop. Had to share it, but yeah. with somebody else, unfortunately. But Shout it on hundred pound line. Well, so did someone else. Yes. So we had to share. We had to share, but it was better than nothing. Sharing is caring, as they say. It is. But I don't care. I didn't want to share. <laughs> but yeah, it paid for. Paper for tickets and that. Yeah. So, yeah. It was great people watching. And, let me read your now. Sorry. The um, Subway salad was lovely. It was lush. It's my favourite salad from Subway. I haven't worked out the calories in it, but I had 800 and odd left. Shall I, Shall I tell you what calories are in it? Because yeah, I've got it tracked on my app. Oh, I had exactly the same as you. We had, I've doubled it up, so it actually works out. I went onto the um, Subway. Subway website 
and check the calories for a double meat salad and it was 280. I saw um a woman I follow on here, a few of you do, Carla had a Subway salad and she went on line and put everything in that she had and it totted it up. It was a proper Subway app thing. Oh. I haven't done it. I've got a Subway app, I think. And I didn't film it because we were busy winning. We had a Dunkin' Donut. What were they? 200 and... They were 272. Which was flipping amazing because it was like proper, proper gig. It was like, it was the Boston Cream one is the one we had. And it's got like creamy custard inside it, but like mm. lighter than custard. And then it's got proper chocolate on top. Not like not like chocolate frosting. It's like proper chocolate coating on top. Flash. Amazing. Shut the window. I'll tell you what though. Ooh, I was having the sweats in there. It was boiling there tonight. And not I've got, I've got my cardigan with me in my bag because I normally am freezing wherever I go. And okay. it was that woman there today that I didn't need my cardigan. Oh god, I gotta go home now and iron all the uniform. Well, I've got to go home and have the rest of the week off. Oh, shut up. Remind me why I had kids, will you? <laughs> and husband. Yeah. Iron his uniform. Well, his clothes, not his uniform. Well, uh, Gary irons his own, to be fair, because I am crap at ironing. Well, I will iron his own. I don't lay mind my stuff because he. I ironed my stuff once and burnt it. I swear to God, he'd done it just to, so that I wouldn't ask him again, and I never did. Yeah. This phone keeps slipping. On the wonk again. On the wonk. Right, let's go. I'll tell you what, though, we didn't park under a tree. We had to park on the side of the road because all the spaces have gone. Again. It was fog because there was big houses. And it was six early. birds have taken their. Drop their stomachs. Drop my stomachs on the car, <laughs> yeah. Blinking heck. Mm. Well, it's the only one for taking this car up to that car wash. No. I'm doing it myself. I'll tell you what, the car wash is, that is good though is the one that I go to, which is at Corriton Asda. I know, I'm not taking this car. Good. I'm not taking this car to any car wash. I don't want to get blamed for damaging it. It's not mine. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I take it back. Oh yeah, sorry, it's just um. I got it palleted before I brought it back. Yeah, they ruined it. It's terrible though. Bottles. Yeah, bottles. Oh god, I need to paint my nails as well. I hate scruffy nails. I've got hand. And you've got scruffy. I've got hand and I've perfection got nails. <laughs> I've got. Well, I've got drunk on the weekends. And knocked half of them off. And knocked two off. I've got like a hand with like two short ones. I'm only real, but they're quite short at the moment. I cut them down. Yeah. But I just, always a flash over. Yeah, but look at the state of them now. Mm. I've got to go and make pack lunches as well when I go in. What time is it? It's 20 to 10. Yeah. Iron uniforms, make pack lunches. You'll be bed midnight. Do two dishes. My last two nights I haven't even been in bed. Or has been starfishing while I've been like that in the chair. <laughs> and I wake up then with a numb bum and some random person on YouTube because it's played itself <laughs> and played itself and just turned onto some random thing. The bed was really comfy in Lampeter and it was like a double bed. No, it's like a king size bed with like an extra bit. So I think it might have been a super king or something like that, but it was a much, much bigger bed than what we've got. Yeah. And um it was really, really soft as well. But I can't wait to get home and get in my own bed tonight, I must admit. Uh, what well, always says to me, come in bed tonight. I'm like, yeah. And then in the next minute, morning. <laughs> Did you find your way up to bed then? <laughs> and I know. I'm going to sleep in the chair. And then i got to go to work then into a day's graft with everyone shouting at me. And I'm like, yeah. keep my eyes open with matchsticks. It's a deja vu. Pick kids up from school and it all starts again. Yeah. Got Thursday off because I've got to have stuff done. Yeah. Or his cars be you thick. <laughs> um my charger's being fitted to the house, hopefully. That's a bit exciting. 
then we'll hang in the charger at the moment. I'm going to drive. I've got to take one to work and pick him up. That's half an hour each way. Yeah. <sighs> and it's not an easy not an easy drive for yours either, is it? There's no easy way to get there. You just have to come down to here for something. He doesn't come that way. He goes up to Lampristan and on that way. He doesn't like the um, April 70 bit, I don't think. <laughs> so you drive a guy, yeah. Motorway. The other way, yeah. Mental. I leave him go whichever way he wants. He gets there. Yeah, it's not really safe. That's most important. Isn't it? But then I suppose thinking about it, if he comes down the A470 way, then he's oh. got to go round Corrie and roundabout, which is a massive roundabout. And if you don't know where you're going, it is quite daunting. So this one here. Yeah, because there's like four or five lanes on it at some point as well. Mm. So <laughs> he wants to try the M25. Yes. <laughs> It's like a rat race down there. It is. M25, I'm fine, but driving inside the M25, I've got proper panic about it. I just I just can't do it. Well, I don't mind it, me. I've got to take my mum down. Well, I'm got to. I'm going to take mum down to my father's grave. She wants to tidy it up. Yeah. And uh, that's M25. Yeah, see, I don't mind doing the M25. Because like, to get down to Folkestone, you have to go M4, M25, M26, M20. Ooh. Am I that excited? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, buddy. You've got to stay awake in that place. I know, it's so warm in there. But like, the whole driving in London thing, that, that's what panics me. No, I wouldn't do that. No. Nah. All the congestion and yeah. charges and wrong lane, bus lanes. Yeah, I just can't even stick it. Gary's really good at driving through London, to be fair. And he's done it for years. And like, when we go down for my eyeball freckle appointments. <laughs> Freckle. freckle I've got a freckle on my eyeball and I have to go to London and have it checked every year to make sure that it hasn't changed in size. Um, but hopefully when I go down this year they're going to discharge me because they've checked it for 10 years then. 10 years? Yeah. But... And then your knee starts. All the checks knee, yeah. the... But having said that, the um, if they hadn't kept an eye on it and if Specsavers hadn't picked up on it in the first place on an eye, eye test, they know it was there. So it's down to spec savers being legendary and picking up the fact that I've got a freckle on my eyeball. That's good. I know, I know, really good. But yeah, when I go down to have my appointment for that, that's just outside King's Cross. Oh my god, look how fast he's going. I know. Porsche in there. Um, like Porsche Jeep. Range Rover thing. Should we catch him up? Go on then, I dare you. <laughs> Can I get caught by the police now? <laughs> Well, we've got a parking ticket. Let's go for a speeding one as well. It's probably a policeman, isn't it? Oh, can you imagine that? Look. Caught him up. It is a nippy little car, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. It's lush. He's got a... Oh, look, he's got a posh number plate. He hasn't even got a full number plate. That's how posh he is. That's how posh he is. He's got three... What, four, four numbers? Letters. Four letters. Or a number and three letters. That's probably a copper now, we're passing him. No, it'll be someone famous. What are we doing? 110. No, I'm joking. Who was we're it? not really. It looked like someone famous, like a rugby player. And oh. he and he looked at me when I turned around as well. Oh, clever oh. boy! Clever boy! <laughs> hey. Hey, let's go. go <laughs> Can you imagine him? He'd be like getting chased by a Corsa. <laughs> oh, we gotta do this now. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? He didn't. And he turned around and looked as well. Did he? <laughs> yeah. He's on for a race. He's probably going to McDonald's. <laughs> he's boy racing. Oh, he's pulled in now. Oh, look at him pulling off. Oh, look. Just because you've got a push car. Do you keep up with him? Give it a go. Could end up in Merthyr. What? Could end up in Merthyr. Look. No, he's 
so it keeps up, doesn't it? This is really nippy. Like yeah. electric cars, you think would be a little bit slower, but they're not at Are all. Are we a pair of kids, eh? <laughs> Racing on the A420. <laughs> oh, just piddle up there. It's him coming up now. Oh, come on, quick, let's go. <laughs> We're coming off here anyway. Yeah. Oh, I'm, stuck I'm such a, a child. I'm such a child. I think I'm 47 next month. Oh, it's my birthday next month. Oh, what are you doing for your birthday? Nothing. We are going to do something for your birthday. Nothing. Yeah, we are. It's just another year. Another year. Another year older. Another year of doing nothing. We'll have Nando's Day, it should be for your birthday. Can do, yeah. Yeah. Or it said to me um, the other day, what's wrong for your birthday? And I was like, nothing. And he's like, oh, here we go again. Nothing. <laughs> and then he said, I'll pay for your eyebrows. He said, I'll book them for you. I said, no, you will not. <laughs> I book them myself, thanks. Yeah, I'll choose my own eyebrows, thanks. Yeah, I'm not having him booking me blinking eyebrows. Well, no, I've been looking myself because I'm, I've been looking into it as well. But I've mm. also been looking at henna ones as well. I mean, oh, they're not permanent. henna ones. But I was thinking. Um, I want a tattoo as well. Do you? You've disappeared out of a shot of my um, oh, head. I think it's because we were doing a bit of uh, a racing. Yeah, um, I want a tattoo on my arm. Where? Um, maybe oh. maybe a, bit, a weight loss one. I've seen them. I want, um, what else I want? There's loads of things I want, right? But there's nothing I need. Yeah. And I'm one of these people that would rather spend the money on kids than me. I don't need anything. No, but then you deserve to have treat too, mate. Yeah, no, but if I want something, I just have it. I don't. Yeah. So then when it comes to my birthday. Gary's exactly the same. It's like, oh, well, nothing to get me. It's his birthday next week and he's had his big present already. What was that? His games console thing. So it's like retro gaming thing. It's like about this big and it's oh. got buttons on it, like the old old school joysticks and. Well, we had um, Sega Mega Drive and that in the garage when I was clearing out. Did you? Mm, right, Mega Drive, not they? Yeah. They're worth a bit of money now. This is like, it's like a games console thing that you plug into the telly and it's got two two pads, so you've got two sets of like the six buttons and the joystick. Yeah. Um, just like you used to play in the arcades. Um, but it's got like a, a thousand or two thousand games on it, so I bought him that. Which he had really? early because thousand games on it. Yeah, it's got loads on it. It's got Bubble Bubble. It's got Rainbow Island. Like nice. my favourites, to be fair. And I've not even played that yet. Um, but he's got that, mm. so he's had that already. But then I bought, bought him some other little bits, so he's got stuff to open. But obviously, because of the day nice. as well, it's a bit more quiet. Nice. Uh, No, he'll do the usual now. And well, to be fair, he's been home and he's been looking after his children. Yeah. He says to me, "It's all right, I'll babysit." But I'm like, "They're your children, so you're yeah, not, you're not babysitting. They're your he's kids." Entertaining the kids. Huh. Oh. Well, I entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep me out, Mister Jessica. And then last night, he entertained Jessica. Exactly. Um. Yeah, I forgot what I've been saying now. Yeah, so he's kept his kept the kids occupied, kind of thing. Yeah, so when I go in now, it'll be he'll either go to me. No, right, I'm going to bed now. I'm not <laughs> good. Like, with one eye open, <laughs> or he'll be lying on the sofa, giving it the old. Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna go up and get him, get in bed, I think. And then Gary will probably text me and say, "Can you pick me up and pop?" Will you go down and get him? I don't know, because we've got parking space in the street, in a proper parking bay at the minute. Which is oh, and luxury. if you come out, you'll lose yeah. it, will you? Yeah. Jesus God, it's busy down here. It is. I'll explain all when the camera's off. <laughs> you'll explain all when the camera's off? Yeah. They're basically a load of asses. 
I just couldn't live here, Michelle. I couldn't do. I couldn't cope with it. Parking is a nightmare. I need my own space, man. Yeah. I bet you've got a few houses here though that have got about three or four cars. Yeah. That we do. Right. I'll message you when I'm home. Yeah. And I will see you for the next one, girl. Yeah. Bye. Ah, that's Michelle gone. And I am going home to do my chores at nearly 10 o'clock. So I will catch you in the morning when I am getting ready for work. Not sure what I'm taking into work yet. I've got loads of porridges and that that need using. Ones that you can just take in a pot. Got quite a few protein bars, things like that. So I will probably have something like that and maybe a salad for my dinner in work. And then tomorrow night, I must make that cheesecake for Mackenzie for his school thing. I think he's got to have it done by Tuesday. So busy, busy, busy. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.